Hello and good morning, Hillview. Before we get into this episode of HVTV, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. It's Thursday, January 11th, 2017. I'm Samuel, and on today's episode of HVTV, we have a hawk squawk asking what advice you would give your younger self, a feature on the gymnast Sophia Simon, and another hawk squawk on making the best animal noises. Ready or not, HVT starts now. <laughs> like to tell your younger self like how to break a habit or fix a mistake Brandon and Brayden went around the campus asking you <laughs> I would go back and on Halloween, I would eat more candy. <laughs> if I could go back in time and give myself any advice, it would be don't become friends with either of these two. Uh, don't worry about the cats. Uh, they died. Ooh. Watch your profanity, boy. I would just like give myself answers to tests that I failed. Uh, probably giving my brother a free brotherly bidding card. Worst mistake. Um, mine would be don't get emotionally attached to Max Lightwood because he dies. What? Spoiler! I would go back in time and tell myself to prevent Adam from playing a high C. Brace yourself. We're in trouble. I would probably say don't do everything because everything you've done is pretty bad. Yeah. Bye I would bye. tell myself to not cry because I need to toughen up. My advice to my younger self would be don't stress because everything's going to be so good in the future. It's going to be awesome. Um, so I'd say like, um, just study hard and get good grades because if you fail, your life is over. Um, I would tell my younger self to like do a backflip earlier. Like learn how to do it earlier. If I could go back in time to give my younger self any advice, I would tell my younger self, well, when I was like three, not to break that TV. tell my younger self not to cut myself bangs. <laughs> I would probably say just like stop trying. So. Don't start swearing in fifth grade. See that cookie? Don't eat it. No. Thanks Brandon and Brayden and we hope that your younger selves listen to you. On to another note, gymnastics consists of many flips and tricks that many people cannot do. Corinne and Dylan interviewed ultra-competitive gymnast Sophia Simon to see how she does it. We are here at the Arriaga Gym, where Hillview alum and current MA student Sophia Simon practices. Sophia competes for the Menlo Park competitive team, the Menlo Sparks. They compete against other teams to determine who goes to the state's competition. So what does it take to be on this ultra-competitive team? Well, it takes a lot of commitment. I started gymnastics when I was three. I usually practice five times a week. It adds up to 16 or 17 hours. Sophia has also learned many lessons while doing gymnastics. Some life skills that gymnastics has taught me is to never give up in what you want to do in life and try as hard as you can in order to 
accomplish what your goal is. Many may wonder what Sophia's favorite apparatus is. My favorite apparatus is the uneven bars because it's really fun and I'm able to do a lot of things that most people can't do. Along with it being her favorite event, Sophia has also won a first place all around award for the event of bars. On the floor, I like doing round effect handspring layouts because the rush that you feel when you're tumbling. Savina, Sophia's coach, has been teaching for about 29 years and is a former competitive gymnast herself. Uh, I was a former competitive gymnast here in Menlo Park. Right now I'm teaching uh, recreational levels that is school age children from six years old to the competitive team that we have here. Savina has many great memories at the Menlo Park gym, but one of her favorites is the first day that she started to teach there. First day I, I worked at Menlo Park Gymnastics, I had a great time and I fell in love with it. To master a skill, Sophia has to start off small. First, she has to practice it on the floor. Once she can do that, she then moves on to the low beam. Then, she moves on to mastering it on the high beam. One achievement that I gained was probably doing a giant on bars, because I never thought that I could do that. And when I was able to accomplish it and do it, I was really excited. Even though Sophia has been doing gymnastics for a very long time, she plans to continue with it for many years to come. My future plans for gymnastics is probably doing it in college because one, it seems pretty cool to be on a gymnastics team and be a part of something, and also it seems pretty fun to do it in college. Reporting for HVTV, I'm Corinne Dexionex with Dylan Murphy. Thank you, Corinne and Dylan, for bringing us that exciting story. Okay, now it's, okay Hawk, it's that time again. Hawk Squawk, when you go to the zoo, do you ever hear animals making weird noises? Well, Lucy and Issa went and around and asked you to imitate those noises. Roll it, crew. <laughs> Okay, so if, I've, if I was an animal, the animal sound I would make would probably be and then I would just do that all the time. Um, my animal would spew random vines, like the one where it's like, road work ahead. Yeah, I sure hope it does. <laughs> be like a cute little bunny but it's it would have like a huge roar like a lion I were an animal I would totally be a tiny little mouse with a huge roar ski up boom yeah And the noise I'd make would be like, cringe. <laughs> and would be re. Oh, I, I would be a depressed squirrel, like. <laughs> if I were an animal, the noise I would make would be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lucy and Issa, for that hawk squawk. Thanks for watching, hawks. Teachers, please stay tuned for a, a few special announcements.